Hello guys, it's Fira and welcome to a new video. So, it is currently 11.11 a.m. and my class will start at 1 p.m. I am about to get ready to my class right now and so I thought why not bring you guys along with me. I'm going to show you how I get ready for class, how I do my makeup, and I will also be showing you what I'm going to wear. And I think filming this would be a fun way to get ready for class since I'm not really that excited for class. So, um... I thought let's have a little fun before class, right? So, yeah, I'm going to do my makeup now. Usually, I start to put my makeup on at around like 12 p.m. because I think one hour to get ready for online class is enough. But since filming can take up quite some time and I don't want to risk being late, I decided to do it one hour early. Actually, I planned on filming this and getting ready at 10 a.m. and then um, I realized that I had some assignment that I needed to do. So I did my assignment first at 10 a.m. and now the assignment is done and now I can get ready in peace. Okay, so let's just get into it because Oh my god, I can't wait to put on makeup on my face. I have this big zit right here. It's really not cute, so let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face because like Nikki Tutorial said, not to prime is a crime. The primer that I'm going to use is this primer right here by Focalore, it is Blur Max Pore Minimize Primer. Okay, primer is done. And by the way, I usually get ready at my vanity table right behind me here. But the lighting there is so 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 terrible and so I decided to get ready here instead. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my foundation and the foundation that I'm using is this one. It is by Maybelline. It is the Superstay 24 hours full coverage foundation and this foundation is so so good actually I just started trying this foundation because I have seen a lot of good reviews on this foundation so I wanted to try it the foundation that I usually use is the Fit Me Foundation 1 by Maybelline as well and everybody knows that anything from the Fit Me collection is super good but um I honestly like this one more than the Fit Me foundation. It is super, super good and I will definitely be repurchasing this foundation. I'm going to use one pump, but usually one pump is not enough. So if I want to add more, I'll just add more pumps. By the way, look at that, you guys. My big zit is literally covered. And I love it so much. Okay, so the foundation is done and look at how flawless the foundation is. Everything is literally covered perfectly and the texture is also really really smooth so love that foundation so much. Now I'm going to just blend the foundation a little bit with my sponge just to make sure everything is really blended even though the brush did a pretty good job at blending it. That is it for foundation and now I'm going to put on my concealer. Concealer is super essential for me. I actually have some dark circles under my eyes and it's not because I don't get enough sleep because 
I always get enough sleep at night but I don't know they're just always there so that's why concealer is super essential to cover my dark circles oh and by the way the concealer that I'm using is by Focaler as well but to be honest I don't think I will repurchase this concealer this concealer is good for sure but it is matte and I am not a fan of matte texture so yeah that's why I think I will not be repurchasing this and also once you apply it to your face, you have to blend it straight away because if not, it's going to be hard to blend and yeah, that's another thing that I don't like about Focaler Concealer but it is full coverage and I love full coverage um, concealers that is it for the concealer my makeup for online class and my everyday makeup is actually pretty different this makeup is a lot simpler than my everyday makeup like for example I usually put some concealers um, like here and also here and also on my chin but I don't think it is necessary to put on a lot of makeup for online class my screen on zoom will literally be this small so people only see me literally this small and the camera quality of my laptop is also not very good so I kind of don't look super clear and also most of the times I just don't want to put a lot of efforts into my makeup for online class um, I just want to do something that is quick but I still want to look presentable I still want to look you know good okay anyway so the next step is to put on powder under my eyes so that my concealer will look smooth and so that my concealer won't crack and the powder that i'm going to use is a maybelline fit me loose powder i love this powder so much as well and i will also be repurchasing this this is so affordable but the quality is super super good and that is something that I love the most <laughs> Okay, so the next step is blush. Now blush is also quite essential for me because blushes are usually pretty noticeable from the zoom camera and I love having rosy cheeks. So, and the blush that I'm going to use, okay, this is the only blush I use. Uh, I literally have never tried any other blushes in my entire life other than this one because I just love this so much. So it is by Emina. It is the Cheek Lit Blush. It is so blurry. Yeah, I just really, really love this blush so much. And I really, really love applying my blush here to accentuate my cheekbones since I'm not going to be using any contour in this makeup routine. And I also like to apply my blush here on my nose and just kind of like bring it outwards a little bit. And um, the face makeup is pretty much done. See, it was really quick. Um, it is currently 11.38 and we started at 11.18, so 20 minutes has passed. That was pretty quick. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. Now, eyebrows are also quite essential for me because it is also pretty noticeable from the screen. I just like having neat eyebrows it makes me look more presentable and what i'm going to use for my eyebrows is this l'oreal brow artist expert this eyebrow pencil is really good okay now i'm going to start filling my eyebrows i think i should zoom 
in a little bit so you guys can see clearer so for eyebrows i like to start from the tail of my eyebrow first and i like to elongate the tail like so like so can you guys see that and then i'm going to start drawing the bottom line And for me, since I have quite thick eyebrows, I like to fill in my eyebrows from the middle part until the end only. And then I'll fill the fronts lightly. Like that. Do you guys see the difference between the two eyebrows? And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, see you guys, I look a lot more presentable because eyebrows really make a lot of difference. Um, eyebrows are very impactful. And now that I'm done with the tail part, I'm going to start filling in the front of my eyebrows very, very lightly so that the eyebrows look a bit more symmetrical to one another. Okay, I feel like that looks good enough. Okay, so that is it for eyebrows. And now I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. And I have my eyeshadow palette right here. It is by Innisfree. These are the colors. And I usually like to match the color of my eyeshadow with the color of my outfit. And since I'm going with pink today, I decided to go with this color right here. It has a bit of shimmer to it, so I think it'll be pretty. I just want a simple eyeshadow look that I can do super quickly. So, this is what I usually do for my eyeshadows. I'm not going to use any brushes. I found using my finger to be a lot more what's the word it applies a lot better with my finger so that's why I'm going to use my finger look at the color you guys love this color so much and I'm going to apply this to my whole eyelid at that you guys look at that the color is so 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 pretty so I usually like to start from the bottom of the eyelid here and then I'm going to work my way up that way um, the eyeshadow blends really really well and um, this one is a lot more intense so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and that's it see that was really really quick but it looks really really pretty and now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my eyelashes so I have my eyelash curler right here and let's do it And that is it for my eye makeup. I don't usually put on mascara for online classes because I feel like you can't really see the difference between me wearing a mascara and not. Again, especially since my screen is only this small, people only see me this small and so my mascara is not going to be shown at all. Usually the next step for me is to put on highlighter but that is also something that is not going to be noticeable on the zoom screen so I'm going to skip that part as well and now we've come to the last step that was really quick I am having so much fun filming this and it is going to come to an end soon okay so for my lips I like to put on like a dark or bright okay not bright I don't usually I guess I mean 
just very noticeable colors I guess for lips if I wear something that is nude or something that is similar to my lip color then it's not really going to be noticeable on the zoom screen and for today again for lipstick I like to match it with my outfit and since I'm wearing pink I want something that is pink but also still very pigmented so what I'm going to use is this lip tint right here and it is by Etude House I think I've had this for quite a long time honest I'm not really a fan of this Etude House lip tint I don't know I'm not a fan of the texture and it's not blending very very well it doesn't make my lips look smooth but I like the color so that's why I'm using this and that is the end of the makeup session Okay, so I am all ready. It is currently 12.10 p.m. So my class will start in 40 minutes. And this is pretty much how I'm going to look like at my Zoom class. Yeah, I also have this really cute shirt that I bought from H&M a long, long time ago. I actually really, really love this whole look, but I'm going to show you my whole outfit and keep in mind that this is literally online class realness so okay i am going to stand up and this is the half part of my body the bottom part and obviously i am wearing my pajama pants super comfortable it is a makeup video but definitely not a fashion video. Now I'm going to clean up and get ready for the online class. I decided that I'm going to do my online class here. I usually do my online class there at my study table, but um, there are currently so many things on the table right now because I am in the middle of reorganizing and sort of redecorating my entire room and so far i've only done my vanity table i pretty much just throw everything onto this table so the table is super messy that is it and now i am ready for the class so it is currently 12 49 pm right now and i am going to join my zoom class this is i guess the little preview of how i'm going to look like in the zoom class screen 10 minutes before the class starts okay i'm going to join without video though and this is it there are currently 13 people and there are a total of 59 students in my class so there are still a lot of people who haven't joined the zoom yet and that brings us to the end of this video yeah i had so much fun filming this so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed to me and you want to see more of me then please do subscribe and i shall see you guys on my next video bye bye